Hello everybody. Okay, now it's time to bo finally bottle some wine and everything. Uh, this could have been bottled a bit sooner. Uh, just didn't have time to mess with it and stuff. But we're going to get it done. Uh, just kind of a quick, this is not really a how-to. Just more of information on what I'm doing. You get a wine book and it'll give you step-by-step -step shots. Here is the siphon I'm going to use. This long tube will actually go down in the tank. And then you got the hose and everything to help fill the bottles. Most important thing here is having this clip that cuts the flow off without losing the suction so you can stop it, move from bottle to bottle without making a mess. Uh, here's the bottles I'm using, just old beer bottles. Um, get what you can. Uh, the, the, the tinted bottles work better because light will affect the taste of your wine. I keep them in a the closet. So it's not going to hurt anything using a clear. The biggest thing is you got to make sure you use a, a pop top. You cannot use a twist off bottle. Twist offs will not work. Maybe the brown no, colored one will show up a little bit better. You got that little beveled edge and stuff. That's the only one you can use. And uh, you use these beer bottles. Uh, if you come across some of the German beer bottles those do not work as well something about the neck they always broke you might be able to adjust the um, settings on the capper and stuff I quit messing with them too many were breaking and you wind up wasting too much wine so I also avoid German beer bottles so make sure no twist offs and stuff oh and another tip um, when, you, when you're getting parties whatever drinking your beer rinse out your beer bottle let it dry and then put that original cap back on it. That just keeps dust and the bug or whatever we're getting in there and keeps your bottles cleaner. So okay, let's let me get set up on everything and we'll start uh, filling filling the bottles up. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna fill this up a little bit. Just to get an idea of the color. Now this um, in previous I told you I had to blend it. It's already pre-blended. I don't know how well if that's going to come out. That color, that bouquet, yeah, I'm going to sniff. But that's a really nice color. It tastes pretty decent. And to fill up, like I said, the little clip was important because that's your on and off. I'm doing the clear bottle to see how it is. See it in action there. And like I said, beer bottles are preferred over wine bottles because it's more of a single use. You share with one other person. Big old wine bottle, you tend to have a lot of waste. Leftover goes flat. So this just works out better for me in, in beer bottles. Get right up to the top. Pinch it off. And go. We'll do one more. And you want to have a wet washcloth or something next to you. Wipe up anything that this, uh, any spills because this red wine will stain. So you got to be careful of that. This is the boring part of the video. Show you the capper in action. Well, you take your brand new cap. Sometimes the old ones. Uh, also, when I use a beer bottle, drink a beer, rinse it out, put the other cap back on, keep bugs and dust from getting inside there. It just helps keeps the insides clean. Okay, and the old trusty capper. Oh, don't knock it over. Set it right on top. A little out of practice there. And then you squeeze down. Get 
There we go. All the way down, fill that crimp. And voila, that's it. You got a nice crimp pop. Uh, pop. Beer, beer top on a nice homemade wine. Okay, take care. Thanks for watching.